Hey everybody, quick episode of TJ's Garage. Uh, today, we got this John Deere LA-130 and it had an incredible toe-out problem, which normally means your spindles are bent, bearings, whatever. Well, everything on here was tight. Um, so we decided to try something different because we had a lot of time. You can go online and you can buy the connecting rods for the steering plate, which gives you an adjustable tie rod end, but instead we made our own. So if you have access to a welder, some drill bits, and taps, I'm going to show you how we did this. So first thing we did, we took the tie rod off, okay? And we marked in line where the steering knuckles were. So they were straight. So what I did was, took a square, ran a line straight down the middle. So now we know that this steering knuckle is in line with this steering knuckle. One goes to the tie rod end. On the uh, spindle, the other end goes to the steering plate. Okay, so we figured out after we took it off that we needed to deduct a quarter of an inch to make these wheels perfectly centered. So I cut a quarter of an inch off of one end. Okay, doesn't matter what end, but it's up to you. So I came over here and I'm thinking, how am I going to make this sleeve? So what I did was I went and got some half inch black gas pipe, right? It's a four inch piece. It just happens to be the same inner diameter as your steering link. So I cut the ends off on the bandsaw, the threaded ends, slid it onto my end about a half inch, which is there's your measurement, slid it on a half inch, welded it around the end, right? Then I tapped it and I put two stainless steel set screws in it after I tapped this half inch gas pipe, okay? Then I came over here and I flattened out the portion that's going to receive the set screws so it doesn't spin, right? So it's going to sit inside like this. Now my tie rod end is adjustable. As it sits flush inside of here, that's the length I need, okay? But if for some reason you ever have to readjust it, you can move it in or out. So this will sit all the way in here. So what we'll do is, uh, let me grab a hammer real quick, and I'll show you how this works. All right, so just make sure you make alignment marks for all of these or else you're not going to be able to put this thing on and your knuckles won't line up. So here we go. Here's my link. It's going to be dead on perfect. Put a little Loctite on here. It's going to set on the flat portion of your steering link. Set your set screws in with Loctite on them and then you should have a perfect toe-in adjustment as long as you measure from the center. If you come over here, once you got it jacked up, You'll take a tape measure, and you measure, that's a 3 and 9, center of the tread, which is about where this arrow is, to center of the tread. Without the links on, you want them dead on center, okay? The measurement between here and here, and the back side at 3 and 9, should be exactly the same. Just say right now you got 36 inches, right? There's your center, 36 here to here and here to here. Then you set your measurement on your link. Okay, I know it sounds confusing, but make sure you set an alignment mark on all your fittings so you know which way your knuckle lines up. It's cheaper, well, it might be cheaper, but some of these OEM parts are very expensive. So we did this on a budget and we just wanted to try it and see if it worked. So right now, as I put this on, with my set screws, which should be, where's my uh, Allen wrench? Allen wrench is over here. Come over here, follow me for a second. Okay. Put this all the way on. Set your set screws with Loctite. This is the size screw I use for set screws. It's stainless steel. It's quarter inch by 20 by 3 eighths. 
So there you are. Now you have an adjustable tie rod end, but you won't have to adjust it because now that your wheels are on center and there's no toe out or toe in and they're perfectly centered, this should work perfectly. Or you can go out and spend like 80 to 100 bucks and buy the John Deere ones with the ends that are threaded and you can move them in and out. But if you're bored and you want to get crafty, this is another way to do it. Gas pipe, a couple screws, cost you maybe eight bucks to do this. If you got time and you got the facilities and the equipment to do it, it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper. So it's something to think about. That's it. Thanks.